God. I don't know about too many people, but when you praise God, there is a different flavor. Amen. There is a different flavor inside you. Hey, when you praise God, there is a different flavor inside you. A lot of times what happens, brothers and sisters, we we don't praise him. So we stay with the same flavor. I want you guys to understand Jesus is a sweet savior. The flavor is sweet. Those who are getting the Bible, we are going to be in Psalms 12, 1, Psalms 12, 1. We're talking about the praises of God. Amen. We're talking about the praises of God. We're talking about the praises of God. The praises of God. Let's open up in prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. I mean, Father, we ask you to bless the children. That's so on their way going to school. We ask you to bless the, the crossing guards. We ask you to bless the police officers, um, our military, Lord God, the, the, the bodega person and the bodega who makes our sandwiches for us and our children, um, the people out there in the cold making our hot chocolate, the people in the hospital, the people that are doctors, our home attendants, Lord God, all the people that makes this whole section worthwhile to live. We wish you would just take care of them, guide them, direct them, and put them in your path. And remember my trials and tribulations that I go through with people lying on me, saying I'm a child molester, saying I'm a pedophile, talking about my home attendant, talking about everything but Jesus. I ask you to be with them, Lord God, and let them come with a better understanding of you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And as we say, if this message is a blessing to you, and you would like to bless me with a dollar or two, we always ask you to call first, 718-877-3169. That's the prayer line, is 718-877-3169. You can text your prayer there, and the man of God will pray your prayer. You can text your prayer at that number and the man of God will pray your prayer. Or you can call me for spiritual counseling and I can talk to you. And if you have a Bible question, call me and I will bless you with the knowledge that needs to be done. Once again, the prayer number and the church number is 718-877-3169. Amen. God bless you. As I said earlier, due to the fact of people cursing when they get on the squares, the square boxes will be closed until further notice. Due to the people, they believe by saying, I'm going to roll up on you. You know, we're going to close that. We're going to stop the communication of the devil. Amen. We're going to stop the communication of the devil. And I noticed when they get in the hand, they stink screaming, yelling, pretending. So we cut off the box if you want to text. You text, but we all know the power is in the voice, not in the text. Amen. Let us read. I'm going to be in 12 Psalms 12, verse 1. This is my Bible. A lot of people say that. I don't read. Let me go through. Oh! You have such a lovely little boy. Yeah, thank you for bringing him. You can bring him anytime you want, okay? Or your daughter, okay? We're a family. I think he had a good time. Right, so you know, he walked around the house. You know, some people they don't let you do that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but here, yeah, the family, and the time's gonna come, you might want him to be there. 
you bring them with them, you know, let me know we can set up something so they can play games and everything. This way you don't have to go back and forth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I right, thank you for that. And I'm like, you know, I like how you said, all oh, my chances, you guys, I'm going to do it. was nice to go all of the chairs. Randall, here is your reminder. Do a school prayer. Randall, here is your reminder. Do a school prayer. You have garlic, put garlic. Okay. And we have that. Okay. And then that should give you a chance to go. Okay. All right? Okay. You're welcome. Anyhow you try, mm, you can be God's giving, and no matter how you try, mm, so keep on giving and God will keep on blessing mm -hmm. come on choir come on choir come on choir giving hey 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 here we go here we go No matter how you try Remember, you want to bless me Bless the man of God Remember, my cash app is God G-O-D Number one, little you Call me first Remember, the phone number is 718-877-877 Three one six nine. Once again, the phone number is seven one eight eight seven seven three one six nine. Bless the man of God. We're gonna Unknown least, caller. somebody call to see who this is and then we're gonna start. Hello? Yes, Dr. Gillis. I need a special prayer this morning. Okay. Um, text your prayer, okay? Because that's what we're doing. Text your prayer? All right. You text yeah, text the prayer. Thank you. All right, thank you, sir. All right. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let us read. Let 
us read, read the scriptures. All right, I'm reading 12, and it reads as following, Help us, Lord. There is not a good person left. Honest people can no longer be found. Let's read that again. We read in Psalms 12, verse 1. We read in Psalms 12, verse 1, and it reads as following. Help us, Lord. There is not a good person left. Honest people can no one longer be found. If I may have a message to share, Lord, help us because there is no honest person to be found. Amen. Let's open up in prayer. Lord God, be with us while we go to this message on Psalms 12, verse 1. A lot of times on social media, and on mainly I notice on social media, people go around judging people, saying, I'm going to make you accountable for your actions. I, I'm going to judge you for what you do. But my Bible says there is nobody honest around. So if there's nobody honest around, brothers and sisters, how do you check me when you are not checkable? How is it that people that are not going to church talking about checking somebody? Or how is it that people going to church, but they're uncheckable, talk about checking somebody? When the Bible says in Psalms 12, verse 1, Lord God, help me. For is not one person honest. We can't find anyone. So, brothers and sisters, the next time you feel like judging somebody and making somebody accountable on social media, remember what Psalms 12.1 said. It said, Lord, help me. Because there's not one honest person found. That's scripture, brothers and sisters. That is scripture, brothers and sisters. That is scripture. Let's focus on Jesus, people. Let us stop focusing on each other and let us focus on Jesus. Amen. Let's close out with the song. Holy Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for this message that you have blessed us with. And we just ask you to keep on blessing us with your message. Amen. Thank you, everybody. God bless you. Be blessed. New York City. If you have an old or a leaky roof, there is new funding available to right, there we go. replace your roof at no cost to you. Also, it's because New York City is unlocked.